Uh, anyway, Endless Tactics is next. I don't mind if a game is incomplete, as long as it's up front. But that said, this is, this is a demo that you're broadcasting to the world. So it should look representative, you know? This is an alpha build. There we go, exactly. This is an alpha build. Art is partially missing and UI is still greatly subject to changes. Text and sound effects are also missing. Please if you have to, okay. What is, why is no? What does this mean, okay? <laughs> so, this is Endless Tactics. New operation. Welcome to your trial run, Commander. Now this is, this is, this is, I can see why they, they call this placeholder art, but this is totally fine. This is not detract from the experience at all. Um, so I, this is, this is great. Welcome to your trial run, Commander. I'm talking about the UI. Uh, your main directive is to gather as many resources as possible. And to do that, you'll need to keep our stations intact at all costs. Okay. Very direct. Here's your objective. Here at Planet Missing String, your battlefield will be comprised of standard terrain, obstacles, null, and occasional atmospheric anomalies. But above all, its native creatures can be quite dangerous if left unchecked, so do not be afraid of giving them a taste of our firepower. Disclaimer, the trial run became mandatory after NAN rookie casualties. I just realized I never actually uh, set up my test device after taking the stream down. Whoops. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Oh shoot, I missed that message. You will now be able to request airdrops from our cargo ship. Pick your favorites. To avoid excessive fuel consumption and safety compromises, the cargo ship will only come back at the start of each day-night cycle. So be sure your units last until then. I am confused, but I did miss a, a message, so I'm not sure. Okay, we got this MLRS. Medium damage, high AOE, low move speed. Mobile artillery. High damage, small AOE, low knockback. Lance cannon. Balanced build. Sure, let's go with that. Oh, I can keep going. Okay. Sure. Let's just pick them all. Why wouldn't I? What am I... What do I do? Continue. Nests pump out enemy units at a regular interval of turns, slowly damaging themselves in the process. Based on our log from former Null expeditions, there are two optimal ways of dealing with enemy spawns. Shoot them, or blow them up. No. Destroying them before they finish spawning all of their offspring. And in case number one is not an option, block their entrance directly with one of your units, which may cause damage a la into the breach. Enemies will always try to head straight for your stations, which are mission critical. Under no circumstances you let enemies come in contact with them, Commander. Make sacrifices, whatever it takes. Okay, we got terrain here. So I have one out of nine, but I have minus six cap. Three out of 50 gold. All right, spawns one enemy unit. Oh, this is the, these are the nests. Okay, I see. So I should just blow up the nests. Okay, I have five moves and one attack. So if I move here. Yeah, we're still in range. Can I still attack? Uh, cool, okay. And then once I attack, I can't move anymore. Got it. So this is a fragile build. It has a machine gun, low range, but it is anti-melee. So noted. 
Noted. Okay, lance cannon. Now, it's not going to force me to attack my own dude, right? It would never do that. That's silly. Hmm? Let me read this. Now, I don't understand. This this is this going to shoot my own dude? Oh no, okay. <laughs> really having a moment of crisis there for a second. All right. Move this guy just in a range. Man, I'm really nailing this tutorial. Okay, that's one nest down and we got one nest to go. Oh, but this one's got all this terrain bull crap. over here because we got spawns to deal with. I think that's my turn, right? Not missing. Generates two gold at the start of every wave. Generates one supplies at the start of every wave. Cool. Ooh. Cool. I like that. That's got some, that's got some snaz. What is this? Exopetal beast, anti-melee. Attacks twice by shooting acid through its eye hole. Class scout, okay. Now, is there any reason I don't just... Bomb. this. Come on, how do I move down? WASD? Nope. Arrow keys? Nope. I want to, I want to move. All right, whatever. This is not fine. Move here. Uh, if we attack, this will die? Hmm, I really don't understand what I'm selecting. Oh, I'm just confirming that's what I'm doing. I confirm. Alright, let's move you... Here, I guess. And then this is junk. What if I shoot... I can break terrain. Cool. Yeah. Corruption spread detected. Initiating tutorial corruption protocol. I can't tell if this is like placeholder because the game developers are still working on the game or if this is actually the intended text. These pulsating blood red vines on the ground you can observe are what we refer to as corruption. Corrupted tiles will buff creatures moves when standing on them. These tiles can be cleansed from all corruption through direct fire. Shoot them. AOE attacks in particular excel at the matter, and certain vehicles can simply walk through them like lawnmowers, courtesy of MechTech's reinforced treadmills. While that spread is ultimately avoidable, it is still advisable to try and trim it down as possible. Else, failure and property damage will only be a matter of time. No, I just win, right? Like, this is, this is gonna... Yay, I just completed my first enemy wave. For your convenience, I've highlighted all the surging tiles for the next one to come. Oh, <laughs> of course that was just wave one. While it is more of an extreme measure, much like enemy with enemy unit spawns, you can always block a surging nest by moving a unit over its highlighted tile. It's worth noting, however, however, that the unit will be destroyed in the process. I trust you'll be able to measure such risks well enough. I feel like losing a unit is not worth it. Based on what I know. So we can put it here. Put a dude here. Um, this unit I feel like is worth losing. 
but I will forego that thought for just a moment. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to apply direct fire, huh? Cool. Out of range. You know what? What if I do this? Can't do it. Not cool enough. All right. Ooh, my stations. They always generate new resources at the start of every wave. Mining stations make gold and oil pumps oil pumps generate supplies. Why are, why is oil called supplies and not oil? Gold can be used for airdropping units and items. Quick and quick to spend and easily replenishable currency. While supplies are responsible for keeping each one of your units operational, and thus your supplies capacity will be decreased every time for unit deployed, then reimbursed as soon as they perish. Ah, population cap. So my population cap is negative six. Oops, I, I didn't mean to click that. I just meant to look at it. Uh. Mammoth tank. Hmm. Missed out on that. Howitzer is good, though. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah. New wave of enemy units incoming. Prepare yourself, Commander. Remember, you can either destroy or block the nests to ensure control over the battlefield. Well, how about I do this? Cool. Oh, nope. Need to move a little closer. Good. Uh, I, don't, I feel like I shouldn't move closer there. Okay. Coyote tank. Dead. Uh, who's left? This guy. Great. Everyone has gone. Why does it say one out of seven? This guy can still attack again? Good to know. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Regret. I have regrets. You're not the only one who can attack twice. What if we bust this down? guy doesn't spawn oh every two turns so then I just win nests will surge from all of the highlighted tiles in this following wave remember if the situation calls for it you can always move one of your units over them to block a nest from surging at the cost of the unit itself The game has told me to shoot corruption, and uh, so I will. Mm, 
Okay, I should have left you there, huh? Can I undo? Nope. It's not this game. No undo. At least I get paid. All right, so this, since it's your trial run, here's the part where we wrap it up. Okay, extract and get yourself a fair bonus for bringing our assets back home. Given how little you stayed, it won't be much, but it should be enough to give you a head start on your upgrades. So be sure to check them out on your way back. Extract. Cool. I like this, this is a Oh, what are you doing? Don't open a web browser. Why? Why? You're, you're ruining the moment. All right. Upgrades. Upgrades. Oh, these are achievements. Cool. These are very easy achievements. Play the game. Keep clicking accept, and accept until I get to play the game again. Uh, these, uh, these, this is the achievement that I just... All units are ready for combat at the same time they're spawned airdropped. I don't know what that means. Skip... Skip enemy waves at the start of all operations. Increased enemy damage and health. Are these like the challenge modes? Your initial gold. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Bans for artifact cards, skips for artifact cards, rerolls, item rerolls for airdrops, unit rerolls, extra initial gold, extra initial supplies. Get a random mech at the start of every operation. Okay. I would like to. If I press new operation, is it going to send me to that that again? This is what I just did. All right, I'm just gonna just just to see, just to make sure there's not like a tutorial mode that I'm locked into. No, it looks like it looks like I get to play the game. I'll play one one match. I meant to look at it, not click on it. Mammoth tank. Oh, this one this one looks cool. That one looked cool too. I should have picked it. Oh well. Cool. Give me a pod with a random passive ability. Passive pods are unique drops that offer a new passive ability to any units with a passive slot to install it. They can either be requested through airdrops like you just did or extracted by destroying any units with such an ability. Passives offer a wide array of tactical advantages ranging from simple aura buffs to more advanced ones like periodical battlefield changing effects. This unit turns into a volcano. Cool, I'm well equipped, so let's bring it on. All right, let's see this mammoth tank. Cool. I feel like I need you to go over here, because I need you to be as over here as possible. I don't know. I need you to be as central as possible so I can shoot the next wave. Okay, you can't get there. So what if you pick up this pod? What does the pod do? What did I just pick up? I'm, I don't know. The Vanguard tank. Hold on, What? what is this? Installs a new passive ability into any unit with a passive slot. Oh, it needs to have a passive slot, okay. Do any of my units have a passive slot? I get the feeling I want to be destroying the terrain because it's in my way. Who hasn't gone yet? You haven't gone yet. 
great. Spawn me a dudeman. Ugh. Ugh. Don't take that. Hold on. This is a kill, right? Great. like to get ready so these two units together take care of that nest this unit and this unit but this unit needs to go take care of this nest where you go up here This is probably more urgent than this. Oh, there's f there's four things. That's right. What are you? An autonomous artillery mech. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Oh. Control F R K freak. I think. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Um, artillery mech sounds cool. These are all very expensive. So I'll just pick this one. Uh, repair all damage units. Dynamic cost. Now we're okay. We're okay. You can hold off. <laughs> oh, jeez. This thing is huge. Um, as a self-destruct. So I would like to know what would happen if I did this. Okay, moderate damage. Moderate damage. Why does this one look gnarly AF? Don't worry about it. Hmm. Well, that's not a good sign. Oh, I can't get to it. Well. Oh, shoot. Move too far. Move a little closer. Fire. So, maybe I should go over here and blow this one up. Yeah, that will, that will blow it up. Cause I don't know what I don't want to know what you spawn. You? Uh oh. Great. Suspicious looking dude. Okay. get the feeling I need you to go over here. Sick. Alright. And now we do clean up. Prepare for the surging nests. Oh, I've already done my turn, okay. So I get no real response. All right, extraction available. Our most recent data shows that 98% of commanders extract right before making it to the big leagues. But be sure to consider your options thoroughly. I can't, can't parse that, what? My most recent data shows that 98.7% of commanders extract Oh, I see, yeah. The basic saying don't don't quit. Okay. I don't know why it, my my brain's not in at hundred percent right now. If you wish to carry on, you can always escalate the operation. You increase the ante for significantly better rewards on completion. 
Just remember, the longer you stay, the more you'll make. And that also applies for the overtime bonuses. In case of excessive property damage, we aren't in any way responsible for your safety. Any property damage will be deducted from your pay. Ooh. Uh, okay, I don't want that. Sure. Sure. Wait, I can just take them all. Oh, no, I can't. I don't have any more supplies. Dome shields mitigate all damage from any incoming source. However, they're shattered right after that fact. It is advised to save them for the biggest incoming threats, weather events, high damage attacks, and similar sources all qualify, according to our most recent data. Great choice, Commander. Engaging Overlock for all stations. Now they'll also harvest corrupted cores at the start of every turn. Expect enemies to get more aggressive due to the increased activity, however. It's just like Into the Breach, I guess. Yeah, it's got, the, it's got that same flavor. Bambraid shields prevent the first... Okay, I've... You've already... You've already covered... Oh, they get shields. Oh, I see. Dome shields, membrane shields. Cool. Well, I'm not going to worry about that. Um... Clears out all of the corruption there. I think I can break this without firing another missile. I played a bunch of that Tower Factory demo game you were doing yesterday. It was fun, but weird how you basically always lose. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... I... I... Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's not uncommon for tower defense games. At least ones that I've played recently. Where you're expected to lose the first many times you play it. I don't like that. There was another one that I'm thinking of, but I can't remember the name of. That was also like that. Oh, okay. So I do need to use the second attack on this guy. Finish you off. Oh, we can't break these guys. Do, do they have more hit points now? Okay. They have more hit points. This is still going to hurt. Yeah, that hurts. Corrupted cores are a unique currency from the solar system. You're able to extract them primarily through destroying nests and their offspring. By amassing corrupted cores, you'll be granted access to cutting edge, cutting edge technology and more powerful gear, aka upgrades. While in no way being the main objective of our expedition, there's still quite important objects to retrieve whenever possible. This last claim is unfounded, and the true origin of purpose are classified. Oh damn, they spawn. Ow. Ow. Oh, it's a real fight now. Okay, I think I think I want to th these guys are spoken for up here, so I I should really do them first. Oh, thanks thanks for the against the storm vids on YouTube. They encouraged me to play more and I finally did the gold seal and got the greatest rule. Awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah, gold gold seal is a Good stuff. Glad to have helped. All right. I think I, I think I got this. If I hit here, I'll blow both of those guys up. Uh, ba -ba. maybe not. But surely we can kill this guy. Okay, and then... Move up here.
Yeah, I remember how daunting it was to uh, dig into the the seals for the first time because it's really hard to it's it's a it's a much different game and it's really hard to get comfortable because uh, you only get to it at the end of the game and you don't you're not always guaranteed to get to at get to the end of the game and then uh, once you do. You have to play the sealed forest several times to really get a feel for like what is actually happening. I need to move. If I do this, I shouldn't do that. If I do this, I should do that. Break it. Can we, nope, can't. Can we get here? Nope. Mm, can't get in range. Oh, hold on, hold on. Bust that down. Bust, damn, just out of range. Well, I can't shoot the, I can't shoot the rocks. No. Okay, whatever. Uh, oh, right in the, right in the big guy. Get out of here. Oh, that's not a kill. Wow. Sketchy dudes. Woohoo! Enemy wave cleared. Prepare for the surging nests. How many of those are there? Three? I'm not ready. Uh, what if we go here? Cool. I only- I have five units. Where's my fifth unit? One, two, three, four. Oh, over here. Okay. Alright. There we go. Get paid. Get some supplies. Oh, I can extract. Oh, I can't extract. Just kidding. How it's here would be nice. And a random passive pod. Nah. Because there's one right here and I haven't used it yet. Ah, uh, gross. Okay. Let me move away from you. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to move... as far from this one as possible, because I'm going to blow this up. Great. We do this to kill that one. And then we do this. Just kidding, we do this. I kind of want to let this, let this one go, so I can break this. I can't break it, I'm not cool enough. Okay. I don't want to be here. I definitely don't want to be here, because this, this is probably going to blow up. I'm probably going to lose, <laughs> now that I'm looking at this more carefully. So I just can't get enough firepower to break. I'm going to have like eight dudes spawn. And what happens if I do this? 
Not lethal. Will this prevent a dude from spawning? Probably not. Probably not. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna just see what happens. Ooh, highly mutated life forms. Behold, Commander, it appears as the prolonged exposure to Null has caused enemies to quickly adapt to their new environment. Not only are they physically stronger, but they appear to have acquired all kinds of psychical abilities. It is highly advised to eliminate them as quickly as possible and always to inspect each and every of their unique passive abilities. Be unwise to fight against something you don't fully understand, after all. Yay. Is it that one? The one with the eyeball? They can install passives? Oh god. Wow. Hmm. The heck is this? Alright. So that's got eight. Eight health. Nope. I want to see its passives. Pacifier aura. Minus one actions. Oh. Oh, I don't get an action. Okay. Well, that's lame. What if I move, like, here? Do I get my action back? Oh, I do. Okay, good. Cool. Don't do that. What am I... Oh, I'm too close, that's why. I can't, I can't, I can't break that guy. So I need to be here. is what it is. Uh, I have two units left. Okay, this one. So I think firing here. Nope. Firing here. here. That'll clear that off. Ugh. How much damage do you do? You do... F it's kind of hard to tell. Five. So if you move here... You can break that. Wait, does this guy have six hit points? Yeah, six hit points. Five hit points. Just move here. Alright, I don't know why that only did three damage. I could figure it out, but... It's okay. Oh, that didn't break. Nice. Armor. It does have armor, yes. My buildings haven't broken yet. This tank is about to break, but... First... Uh, what is the most valuable thing to blow up? Mm hmm? What am... What is this even showing? I want to see what it's, what this thing's armor is. Uh, doesn't have armor, so why isn't this... Why isn't that a kill? 
Six minus one. I don't get it. I think I think this guy can bust. Nope, not that. So I want to move you up here so that I can rain some rockets down. Wait a minute. Four hit points. I can kill that. Great. Then we... This is going to spawn a nest. If I... Or spawn an enemy if I don't blow it up. So let's blow it up. This is probably going to break something. That's okay. I don't think there's anywhere where I can blow this up, but I can try. Cool. Cool. So it's just this guy who's gonna hopefully attack a tank. Hopefully. Nope. Oh. But it's okay. Oh, cool. I shouldn't have done that. I should have moved first. Noted. Next time. Oh, I should have... Alright. Should have done a lot of things. Let's go bust this. Oh, don't do that. It's super effective. Take the shield down. Hey, all right. Now we got the surging nests. How many how many more of these can can we survive? Not that many. Extraction available, yes. No, 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 no. I, I would like to extract, please. I would like to extract, yes. Ooh, there's a strange matter present on most of the retrieved equipment. It'll be quarantined immediately, and all costs will be deducted from your pay. Extra maintenance costs estimated to be null. This is a uh, really difficult to read, but that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. I like I like what I see. Obviously, could use more polish, but you know, I'm not gonna fault the game for that. Unlocking a bunch of stuff. Great, great. I like that.